Okay, so now we are going to go over the schema overview. I'm going to explain you the needs of the customer uh, after we did an al analysis with him. Uh, this is um, very important. I can't express, express how, how important it is to gather the information from the customer and understand the need because uh, actually every simple and little thing that he says could uh, change the way that you that you will go and uh, build the uh, the data warehouse. Uh, so, if if uh, you ask him questions about uh, let's say his agents and if he wants to know to uh, uh, save the data uh, the historical data, so uh, one customer can say that he doesn't want the history and it's okay and fine that the agents uh, will have only the last agent uh, that the customer relates to. Another one wants the data. Um, one wants to go up until uh, the minute uh, because they are very... Uh, the, this is the, N the ETL is running every five minutes and he wants to know what happened in the last uh, three and a half hours. Another qu customer wants to know just once a day. So you need to understand the needs because uh, this is uh, the complexity and the changes of the database of, of the, uh, the columns that you are building and uh, of course uh, uh, how much uh, um, data sources uh, you will get, how many columns or how, many, how much data there will be in the, uh, in the tables because uh, that will can change uh, even the the fundamental thing about uh, wha where the data is saved, if it will be in MySQL and uh, held 20 million rows, or even if uh, if it's uh, uh, 2,000 uh, or 2 billion rows, and then you will need to consider something else. Uh, so every question here, when you analyze the data and the scenario, and of course the business analysis, uh, business uh, needs, uh, is important so take a uh, good care of uh, writing it down and maybe even uh, sign up the customer this is what we do usually we just write an uh, analysis of the needs and then uh, we let the customer read it and after that he needs to sign it because this is what we are going to develop uh, what happened usually is uh, that is changing the analysis uh, and the needs over time and uh, even in before you uh, uh, even finish the first uh, phase it already has changes in it so you can go to the what to to the analysis and see what was the the, the design meant to do and what is uh, going to do now uh, I'm going to talk about it more uh, while we are going to from dim one dimension to dimension about specifics that can change and what it means when somebody wants to change something in the in the design. Uh, for now, I'm going to explain a little bit or more than a little bit about this in our scenario. So the scenario is not mine; it's not uh, in flows. It's actually a database uh, of uh, MySQL, and you can go to the site. Uh, if I'm t searching in Google, MySQL Sakila. So you will in the first place uh, we have MySQL Sakila sample database, and you actually have here a Sakila sample database with uh, instruction about what the database means, what the the main features of the database, uh, what are the uh, players inside it, and of course I will go over it in one second, uh, and of course what I wanted to go, this is the structure. So actually this is the structure, uh, the ERD, Entity Relationship Diagram, of all the tables in the in the schema, or in the, in the database, in Sakila database, and uh, we want, the customer wants to ask questions uh, over this uh, database and get very fast answers with graphs and they want to analyze it uh, wants, uh, with gauge and KPIs and stuff like that and uh, usually what, what we need to do is actually take all those uh, uh, um, tables and unify them to, to be 
the optimal way for uh, data warehouse and for questioning, for analyzing. So who are the players? What we see here is actually um, something like Blockbuster. Okay, if I need to uh, to put it uh, to explain the the business processes here, you actually have uh, films. Every film is um, has an ID, a unique ID. Uh, it's actual film, physical film. It's like a DVD box. Okay, you you have a DVD. You have a, like in Blockbuster, somebody that comes inside the store and he rents the DVD. He holds it in his house for two, three, four days, whatever, and then he returns it. And of course, for every rental, he pays. Okay, so the the main and the uh, item zero, let's say main dimensions are the films. Okay, then I will even illustrate it for you. Wait, I will leak it. Okay, uh, I'm going now going to show you my uh, skills in the uh, pictures in. Uh, drawing this is very nice so I will take the blue and I will sketch it so this is all of this is actually the film dimension okay because we don't want uh, to have so many tables like one two three four five tables that has all the data for the films and when we want to ask something the uh, the BI asks something from the data warehouse. Uh, we don't want to uh, link or actually join five tables in order to get the data from the films, and we want it all in one place. Then we will combine all of these to one table, and this table table will be called DIM films. Okay. So these are the films. Now I'm going to red will be the stores okay we have stores this is another dimension and stores it uh, is as addresses and there are cities and countries uh, so this is the stores okay so I'm very good at this <laughs> store okay now I'm going to pick and we have a customer now the customer also has address city and country Okay, so this is the customer. Customer is no. This is you understand. It. Okay, it's a little bit of a mess, but uh, you are intelligent enough to understand it. Uh, we have the stuff also. Okay, the purple. Now, here is the first question about the stuff. Does the stuff really interest us? Instead of uh, besides the ID and the name. Uh, do we have a lot of stuff? Okay, this is a question for the customer. Maybe we are uh, uh, designing here a solution for uh, thousands of store of a chain, and he has something like ten thousand uh, workers, and everyone lives in another city or country, and uh, we want to analyze the degree and uh, if they have MBA or BA, and who and if. Somebody that has BA, BA rents we uh, rents more movies. Okay, so this is a question. So this is one answer. If if the answer for from the que the customer will be yes, we are thousands of workers. We want to analyze the the workers uh, also. Then probably we will need to uh, head to the to the stuff, the data about the city and the country and stuff like that. But uh, if it's a small chain of uh, six, seven stores, and uh, we have only 20, 30 uh, uh, staff members, then actually I guess that we don't need the, the extra data. Okay, so this is uh, an example. Another example is, do we need to know if uh, something changes over time? That we'll talk about it later uh, uh, on a specific uh, uh, lesson about uh, slow changing dimension. So now, so now we have the stuff also, okay, stuff, okay, I can do better than that, but okay, we have the stuff, and the last thing that we have, okay, so the fact is actually the rental and the payment, 
It's also the inventory, we will talk about it later, but actually what uh, interests us here in, uh, in this situation is the rentals and the payments. So uh, it's, uh, we're not going to analyze uh, if a specific movie is, uh, is in the store right now or not, uh, because it's more like a, a, a function for, for an operational database, but we can do it also, but uh, I, I uh, just didn't do it because it's not so important, we can't learn anything more new in Kettle uh, if we just using the inventory, just making more ETLs, but not new functionality in the ETL. So this is the, the schema I, I chose. Okay, you see that I also didn't choose the actors because it's the same uh, as category for uh, for uh, all uh, as I say. And if I'm taking the category and the uh, film category and category and the film, so to take the actor is more of the same. So it doesn't uh, really uh, important to take all the schema. Uh, by the way, it's also something that the customer can say. I don't want the actors, doesn't uh, interest me, I just want to analyze the inventory or the rentals uh, with the countries. And I know that we are as uh, 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 technologists, people, uh, we want to analyze everything and we need everything that everything is important, but uh, we can uh, just uh, blow up the amount of hours that we spend and if we are an external company or something like that, then uh, we usually cost money for the customer so you need to to uh, keep it uh, keep it simple and keep it uh, on budget okay so this is important to analyze the needs uh, okay so now that we have this uh, uh, we, we in which uh, tables we are going to uh, to use uh, I can I go to I will go to the uh, PowerPoint again, and you can see it a lot more clearly and nicely that we have a deal in dim films that actually they will have the category language last rented where it exists, the staff, the store, and the customer. And the special dimension is the date and the time that we will talk about later. A uh, very important uh, dimension that we can find if, uh, even. It the mo most uh, more most of the customer I uh, uh, encountered with uh, wants to analyze things over time and uh, it's a really really important dimension. Uh, so I think uh, that's it for the schema overview.